In this video, we're going to take a look at my Black Adam inspired Tofu 65 build. Now, I've not seen the film yet, but I saw the Black Adam suit and realised that it was almost a perfect colour match to the Tofu 65 in ink blue. Add to that the Egyptian slave origin story of Black Adam, and it was pretty easy to pick out the rest of the components to get a theme going. So let's run through the build while I give you a good look around the keyboard. As I said before, this is the Tofu 65 case in ink blue with the brass weight. I bought the Tofu 65 case pad from KBD fans, but ended up getting some Gokka foam to try out. Gokka foam is nice as it turns out, but it's super expensive to buy. I can only get it on the Amazon.com website, which isn't ideal as I'm in Spain, so it costs 35 euros per keyboard. Let me know in the comments below if you know any good places to get Gokka keyboard foam in Europe. Um, that would be really helpful, thanks a lot. It has the DZ65 RGB V3 hot swappable PCB. It has the Tofu 65 foam pad between the plate and the PCB. I went for the brass plate to match the theme more so than for the sound and feel. I prefer aluminium plates if I'm honest. On the switches I went for a set of C3 equals tangerines. This is a well known set of linears. I went for the dark greens which are the heavier 67 gram springs. These are lubed with Crytox 205 grade 0 and they have switch films installed. This is the first time I've used the tangerines, they're pretty nice and they match the theme nicely. For the keycaps I went for the Domaki X Glove Link Fire. The blue beige and orange colourway was perfect. The blue matching up with the case and the Black Adam suit nicely. The beige making me think of sand which is a nice fit with the theme. And the orange depicting fire and the orange that you see in some images of the lightning bolt on the chest of Black Adam suit. I should have got the extended alpha set which is why I'm currently using the orange arrows as a placeholder until they arrive. The brass artisan is off Etsy. It's the Atreides Eagle, as in the House of Atreides from the Dune movies. It definitely has an Egyptian influence and suits the theme perfectly for me. The other artisan is also off Etsy and paying homage to the big man himself of course, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I've been a big fan of The Rock right back to his early wrestling days when I used to watch WWE or WWF as it was in the late 90s. The keycap is of course as close as I could get and I think a pretty good likeness to the original Brahma bull tattoo and logo. Just in skull form which I like and which also matches matches up nicely with his updated Brahma bull tattoo. On the back of the keyboard you can see that I've had a go at some Egyptian hieroglyphics. It didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped as I don't have an anvil to stamp accurately but I think the idea comes across but it was a difficult and painstaking process. The brass weight on the Tofu 65 comes painted with gold flake looking paint to look like brass which is odd. I had to sand this off first to get to the proper brass for stamping and I think the bare brass looks much nicer. I will try and get another brass weight and try and do a tidier job of this now that I've had a good practice run i will also polish that one to a mirror finish once it's stamped and that's it for the build i'll add the build details and links in the description to show you where i got all the parts including the rather expensive and bespoke metal stamps i ordered on etsy for the hieroglyphics i hope you enjoy the typing test don't forget to leave a like a comment to tell me what you thought of the build and subscribe for more videos